so much for joining us tonight. An East Texas man walks free after a jury found him not guilty of killing an 18 year old Jacksonville man. Cameron Shedd was accused of murdering Tyrese Gibson in August of 2020. This afternoon, a Cherokee County jury found Shedd not guilty on all counts. KLTV 7's Avery Gorman was at the courthouse today when the verdict was read. The jury found Cameron Shedd not guilty of capital murder, not guilty of the lesser charge of murder, and not guilty of aggravated kidnapping. The verdict was read after closing arguments this morning. The state began their closing arguments this morning by laying out their timeline of events in the Cameron Shedd case. They say on August 23rd, 2020, Tyrese Gibson got a text from Brianna Jimenez promising him drugs and sex. They say he was taken to an abandoned parking lot where Gibson was ambushed. They say he was taken to to an apartment where he was hogtied, beaten, and ultimately shot and killed. State witness Jimenez says Shed concocted a story and took her to the police station to, quote, get ahead of the investigation and clear her name. The state says Jimenez told that story, but eventually told the truth about the events. A police recorded and monitored phone call was played of who they say is Shed telling Jimenez the body of Gibson will not be found and to continue to tell the concocted story. The defense began their closing arguments saying the case lacked evidence proving beyond a reasonable doubt that Cameron Shedd committed the murder. They say the state only has Jimenez's testimony and there was no evidence corroborating her story. They say Jimenez's testimony stated the Maroon Tahoe was connected to the crime. But the defense argued using multiple witnesses who said the Tahoe was broken down and undrivable at the time of the crime. They also say a picture was taken on Shedd's phone of his daughter in his room at 1.15 a.m. the night of the the crime. They argued both of these facts played against him in his story. They argued for the not guilty verdict as a result. The state rebuttaled, arguing they believe the picture was taken after the crime occurred and was taken by Shed to throw off the investigation. The jury began their deliberations at 10.50 a.m. and they had their verdict of not guilty around 2.15 p.m. Avery Gorman, KLTV 7 News. Now the Cherokee County Sheriff's Office escorted Shed out of the courthouse and to the county jail where he was set to be booked out.